Yo, 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 what up, YouTube BX? It's your boy Daddy Easy here, iPod Jabber Hacker, otherwise known as Only Use Me Tomahawks. Some of you guys know me as Easy, like I always say, to the black, to the blue, on my avatar on my YouTube channel. Yeah, buddy. So, I'm going to basically show you how to save your password on your eShop, on your Nintendo eShop um, store. A lot of you guys might have set up your accounts, might have linked your account, and accidentally forgot to actually save your password. So basically what happens is every time you log into your account, you got to put a password in. You don't want to go through that. You want to just get into the store and get right back out. I'm going to show you right now how to do it. It's three ways to do it. But one of the ways is um, you just don't want to go about it because it's going to compromise your account. Basically what's going to happen is it's going to erase all the data that you have. So if you have saved data, saved games, saved whatever, and you unlink it, it's going to just mess up everything that you have linked to it. So I suggest you not go that route. But if you're like me, for example, if you go right here and click on it, I'm going to log into my Japanese account. So as you can see right here. Now, let's say you go to this menu right here, but you go through right here, and it's asking for your password, and you don't want to go through your password every time. I'm going to show you basically what you have to do so you don't have to go through that procedure anymore. So, first thing you can actually go about doing this is going about into settings. So, when you go into settings right now, let's say you got your account linked, right? So, what I'm going to do is go to user. I'm going to click on this person right here, which is me. And right now, I can do this. Which one of the things would be to unlink my account. Don't unlink, don't unlink your account. Like I said, it's going to compromise it. Anything saved that you have on here is going to come to a problem that you wind up losing all your data and stuff like that. You don't want to do that. So what we're going to do is, basically what you want to do is, I'm going to show you one of the steps that you can do right now. So we're going to jump inside my Japanese account right now. And I'm going to show you the steps of how to go about doing it. Alright, so what you want to do is, go back into settings. Go back down to user, my Japanese account right here. Scroll all the way down and go to where it says Nintendo eShop settings. Click on it. So as you can see right here, it's giving you your password. I'm gonna put my password in real quick for you guys. Okay, log into my account. So as you can see, here's my Japanese account right here. And so basically right here, once you get in here, you're going to click on this one right here. So right here, this is basically acting like PayPal and stuff like that. If you're in America, this part right here will be basically asking you your location and stuff. But because this is the Japanese owned store, you want to just go into the one right here that you see this right here. And basically, you want to click on this right now, and it's going to ask you to put your password in. Once you put your password in, um, you'll be able to save it and be able to do exactly what I'm doing. So, to demonstrate this, this is the first way you can do it from settings. But what is, let's say if you're already inside the store, right? So, what we're going to do is we're going to back out real quick. So, we're going to go back into the store real fast. This is the second way you can do it. So, let's say you want to go into the store. Click on, on your account. Ask for password and put your password back in again. So I'm going to do that again real quick. Okay. So we're back inside the store. Now I'm going to click on my logo. Now it brings us back to this page. Now we're going to click on that one right here. So if you have a Japanese account and you want to log into your Japanese account very, very fast, make sure you click on your icon logo. You want to scroll to the one right here where it's underneath PayPal. This is the one that's going to tell you basically what it's saying is password, uh, credit card information, PayPal on um, credit card information, anything else like that. So you just click on that right there. So and basically in Japanese, this would be enter. The one underneath it would be skip password. So since you want to do that, you want to click skip password. That's what it is in Japanese. Hit the orange one right here. So now we got to re-enter the password. We're going to put in our password right now. Okay. Password. Let me just do it again. Make sure that. Okay. Just double checking. Password is entered because I double tapped the um button. I thought I might have actually hit the thing again. So since we got it in now, we're going to just hit home real quick. We're going to go back into the e-store. 
to double check that it went through. Now we log into our Japanese account. And there we go. Able to log into our um, eShop without using a password. It's automatically saved like that. So I'm going to show you it on the English version. So I'm going to go back. I'm going to jump inside my Daddy Easy account. Now for the demonstration of this um, video, I did put a different location with a different zip code. Um, this was back when I used to live in the Bronx. So currently right now, I live in Yonkers. Y'all know I left Connecticut. Um, so I'm in Yonkers, New York right now. But I put my Bronx um, old zip code on here. So as you can see right here, you says credit card information, PayPal. Then it says location settings right there. And this one is actually different. This one says password entry settings. And you click on that. As you can see right there, I have it set up for skip. So I can use save credit card info. I got to skip because I don't have no credit card information. I don't even have my PayPal account info on it. Because um, I don't want to accidentally have something saved on it. That's something I'd rather do have my password um, set. Um, so I don't accidentally buy something. Or if my son, my daughters, or my sons get on it, they don't accidentally buy nothing right there. But it's already saved. So once I go inside my eShop, I'll be able to go into my eShop with no problem, no logins and stuff like that. So that being said, that's how you save your password onto your Nintendo Switch right there. Um, hope this helped you guys. Remember, like, thumbs it up, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in my next video. And make sure you hit that notification, join the notif notification squad, and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Remember, live it, love it, game it. Peace and deuces, and I'll catch you guys later. Holla.